Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here and welcome to GH Soft Tech. This is a second session on SAP BW powered by HANA FAQs uh, for the interview preparation as well as for the project preparation as well. Okay, so what are the components needed to install BW modeling tools? So to install BW modeling tools, you need the following components. The operating system uh, it should be either Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Apple Mac OS X 10.8 or higher for Linux distribution. So Internet Explorer 7.0 uh, or higher or Firefox 4.0 or higher has to be installed in your system. And SAP GUI for is a Windows 7.3 or SAP GUI for Windows 7.4 has to be installed on your local drive. You can download this from the SAP Marketplace as well. So to communicate with a backend system, you need Microsoft and the runtime DLL uh, VS 2010 for Windows OS is installed on your local system. And the SAP HANA Studio, which is actually of 32 bit or 40, 64 bit for Windows and SP08, this is a service pack 8 or higher. So what is the HANA optimized info cube in SAP BW on HANA? So when you use SAP BW on HANA, you can create your existing info cubes to HANA optimized info cubes. So when, when, when info cubes are moved to SAP HANA database, they become column based tables and act like BWA indexed info cubes. So when SAP HANA optimized info cubes are used, characteristics and key figures are assigned to dimensions. And to improve the system performance, surrogate IDs are used in fact tables. So when you convert standard info cubes to HANA optimized info cubes, the layout changes at the time of conversion and it has to be adjusted manually. Just the, the, the time, time of uh, con conversion. To view info cubes in the BW system, you can use transaction list schema. L-I-S-T-S-C-H-E-M-A is the transaction code for that. What is composite provider in uh, SAP BW on HANA? Composite providers are used to combine multiple info providers using join or union operations. So when you use SAP BW on HANA, one of the info provider should use in-memory database and the data, data in composite providers can be used for reporting and analysis. So when you use SAP BW with non-HANA database, then BW uh, is a prerequisite for Create, creating the composite providers. So the, pro, the, the primary advantage of composite provider is that you can create new complex business scenarios by combining info providers using join operation. And you can create composite providers in administration workbench using transaction code RSLIMOBW. What are the object and package privileges to access SAP HANA views that are generated from SAP BW. This is a very important question. Uh, even the, from the real time point of view, it's very important. So, object privileges select on underscore sys underscore pi. Object privileges execute on repository underscore REST sys. And package privilege REPO dot READ on the content package where generated, uh, where generated SAP HANA views are stored. So we need to have this privileges. So I, I, in, the, in, the, in the coming sessions, I'll also explain you the exact code that you need to write to get the access to the tables which are there in a particular schema. So we have to write the grant schema, uh, grant, grant select to, for schema, and then we need to write that logic. I'll, I'll, ex, I'll, I'll show you the syntax as well. What is DIM ID? Dim, dimension IDs are used to connect fact tables and the dimension tables. What is an info source? A structure consisting of info objects without persistence for connecting two transformations. What is an info object? Info objects are known as the smallest units in SAP BI and are used in info providers, DSOs, multi providers, etc. Each info provider contains multiple info objects. Info objects are used in reports to analyze the data stored, data stored and uh, to provide information to decision makers. Info objects can be categorized into the following categories. Characteristics like uh, customer, product, etc. Units like quantity, sold, sold uh, currency, etc. 
and key figures like total total revenue profit etc and time characteristics like uh, year quarter etc what is info area info area is in sap bi is used to group similar types of objects together so info area is used to manage info cubes and info objects as well each info object resides in a in an info area and you can define it in a folder which is used to hold similar files together what is advanced dso in sap bw on hana using hana optimized objects you can achieve better performance for analytical reporting and data analysis dso's of sap bw are automatically optimized for activation in sap hana database so when you migrate sap bw on hana all standard dso's are moved to sap hana database in a column storage uh, devices objects use uh, advanced dso's you can you should have sap hana database support pack 08 or higher version and in the back end you you should have the sap bw 7.4 sp s9 service pack s9 what is the time distribution option in update rule this is to distribute data according to time for example if the source contains calendar week and the target contains calendar day the day is the data is split for each calendar day here you you can select either the normal calendar or the factory calendar can you partition a cube which has data already no the cube must be empty to do this and one 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 work around this around is to make a copy of the cube to cube uh, cube b export data from uh, b using export uh, data data source and empty the cube a and uh, create partition on a re-import data from b and delete the data in the cube so, so this process that i'm telling about is for old versions for bi 7.0 you can make the partitioning uh, provided you have the zero fisc year or zero cal month uh, either of these time characteristics is there you can do the partitioning without uh, deleting the data you can very well do that and that's possible but you don't have to do the partitioning for bw 7.5 on hana there is no need of partitioning because the performance is very high basically we do the partitioning to uh, improve the performance so it's not required for sap bw 7.5 thanks for watching this video i'll soon be back with more such uh, sessions do write in the comments comments what exactly would you like to see in the next coming videos and uh, if you like this video please do click on the like like button share it with your friends so that it will help them as well and subscribe to our channel uh, and do not forget to click on the like button our channel is www.youtube.com slash jhsofttech and if at all if you are looking out for sap trainings you can contact us at info at the thank you have a great day